here we are, cruising with goggles again, and uh, doing another of this uh, hard parking V doubles thing. So, <laughs> thought uh, I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit till uh, get better at it. So, uh, in this one, we had to come in over there by that. Uh, I don't know, up here we'd call him an Atco shack, but uh, that little shack, and uh, did a U-turn in the top of the yard up around by that uh, loader and went back out towards the exit ent uh, entrance and then backed around to here and um, went pretty good. I only had, I had to pull ahead, uh, it's, you know, change the angle of the trailers four times to get here. And it probably could have been three if I had been uh, a little more vigilant coming into this final spot. So I'll consider that pretty darn good for a rookie. Anyway, um, hey, uh, let's get going here. Um, and we'll talk more about it on the way. So, you can... Air supply is good. I didn't run it down. Uh, the, uh, I don't know if you can tell if I point here, I don't know if you'll see this, but these two gauges here are the air supply, primary and secondary air. Oh, I didn't get that parking brake off. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's kind of crane my head around, get, uh, my eye tracker, Toby, to readjust. There we go. So we're in uh, Winnemucca, or outside of Winnemucca, a little jaunt, and uh, we're heading to Fallon, which you won't have on the regular map. So this is a, um, um, a Reforma uh, map mod would have added this. Turn right. couple reasons we're in this Turn truck right. today. Uh, one is uh, it's got a fairly short wheelbase and it's going to help me out with this double parking. And I'd actually configured a dealing superliner to do this run with. After and uh, yards, turn left. then I realized, oh, I'd said yesterday in the video that um, turn left. about this hula doll thing and where it came from in the, in the John Ruta 362. So I thought I'd hop in the 362 and show you what the hula doll does for me in this truck and how it became left. ubiquitous with my yards. trucks. Turn left. Turn left. And once we get out of here on the highway, we'll have a look at it. Well, you can see her feet uh, when we're going straight there for that little bit. I got them lined up with the stripe in the shoulder of the road. And uh, great aiming point. Because you'll notice, obviously, the cab over, you have no hood and no hood ornament as you're... Uh, what I call the gun sight. And so with her there, right there where the feet are, centers me right in my lane. So when I'm going to the left corner, I just drift her a little bit to the right. And it keeps my trailers inside the line. And when I'm going on a right hand corner, I bring her to the left of the line. The rest of the time, try and keep her feet kind of on the on the line, and we know we're in good shape. So that's the story of the hula doll. If you want to set it up, you look for that uh, below her on the dash. You see those uh, access panel, like those screws that you would remove to get access to the uh, instrumentation and/or whatever's behind the uh, panel. 
just to the left of those screws is the uh, dot where you would place her. Yeah. Handy. Because I was sort of all over the road when I first started driving this truck. Trying to figure out uh, you know, where, where am I supposed to be in the lane. You get a sense for it after a while. But when you first hop in it after driving a whole bunch of conventionals, it's a little weird. The um, K100 has the uh, defroster vent on the left side of the dash. You to use it and line it up at the center line, so it doesn't really need anything. And the uh, yeah, I put a little doll on there anyway because it's become a habit. But you don't use it for sighting. I just use the left-hand uh, uh, defroster vent. And the KSW uh, 352 has a center mounted. Uh, vents on the uh, middle of the dash and they kind of do the same thing so those are the three cab overs that I drive I don't think I have any others well I have the FLB Harvins FLB but I don't drive it that much although I, I like it but man I wish you had to put a chassis under it it's got this uh, short tiny little chassis yeah I have 355 gears on here so I'll wind it up to do 80 here kind of just singing along with the high end of the uh, RPM band Maybe they're 370s, it's really screaming. But uh, I think we're going to be pulling off the freeway before too long. Uh, my truck, uh, I used to have had 390 gears in it, and I used to, I didn't have a very big engine, and uh, I used to run her pretty fast, but I changed the oil a lot, like, because I know that this is hard on the oil, it breaks it down a bit, and I changed my oil probably twice as often as was required, just because I knew, it. you know, I'm driving it at the limit, and uh, keep I wanted to keep uh, fresh oil in it that was in good shape. Exit right ahead. Going to uh, a BHP, which uh, let me think, what is that? In the, if you don't have map or the uh, real uh, names mod, uh, what the heck is it? Oh, I forget. Oh, that's bad. BHP. having a brain fade. <laughs> oh, I'm allowed. I'm an old guy. Cut me some slack. <laughs> Fallon, it's not too far. 
Oh, I think it's, yeah, it's Fallon BHP. It may be out in the, Fallon may be fairly close, but I think the site is remote. Let's see if we can get enough speed to get around this guy before anything happens with the road. No. Maybe around here. Cars and trucks coming. Well, maybe he'll get up to speed here with all this. Uh, he's had enough time. He's, he's at speed now. I guess we can just follow him. probably tell by the familiar exhaust note that uh, once again I'm uh, using uh, the DD60. Now, I went and tried the updates from CMOD for the 3408 and the uh, ISX 15 uh, EGR and the C16 and I just can't do it. can't go back to those engines after this one. I am looking forward to Zmod's uh, um, w, uh, his uh, Western Star 4900. I, uh, I did the pre-order on it because, well, number one, I know there's going to be uh, a need for skins for that truck, so I'd like to contribute if I can, come up with something left. people would want to use. Yards and left. I'm intrigued with uh, the level of detail he's showing in his preview of it, Turn left. especially on the interior. He's got it uh, really uh, looking sharp. So this is all added in uh, reform, I believe, this town. wrong with the reform of maps, they're so good. Go straight. Not too awful far from the site now. I don't know if I've ever uh, done hard parking at this particular site in the past. It's like I say, I was doing most of my B-double stuff with that Doker Legacy. So it was mostly, uh, you know, Walmarts and ADMs. Yards, turn left. So this is getting into a whole new thing. That last site where we picked up, uh, I'd never done a double parking there before. I like the mirrors in this truck, I look how big they are. Especially this one's right in your face. <laughs> it's huge. Yards, turn right. Turn right. Your destination. Well, let's find out.
kind of dastardly. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's got to be doable. Oh, well, I can't see now on the map. I wonder if I could open the world map and zoom in on this site. I don't think you can get in far enough. Oh, maybe. No, I don't think you can go through there. Okay. I think we can do a, a circle around in a UE down there. Just got to think about which direction to turn the UE in to get the trailer in the right place. See how much room we have to sort of straighten out after we do the U-turn. Okay, okay, let's just look at this for a sec. Oh, there's a road coming in from the other direction. Let's uh, just jump outside here. Oh boy, if we did... Um... Wow. Hmm. It's a poser. I did, there's not much room for a U-turn. I wonder. Let's um, look at the map again. And see if that, that road's on the map. Look at that, eh? So if a guy came in this way and went like that, he would be in good shape. Okay. Well, because I think if I did a UE, I'd have the trailer all messed up. I wonder if I can do a UE and pull back out the way I came in and back around in a U turn from that direction. Let's try it. Oh, we don't want to skip the parking. It's a. Uh, object of the exercise to see if we can do this. Well, this might be a good way to do it anyway. Get this. Oh, we may not have to go too far out. Let's see. How much room do we have here? Gotta get this. Just sort it out. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, gotta get that trailer straight more. I think we're gonna might hit that van there. I think we're on the right track there. We just started our turn too soon. So what we want to do is try to get that to go a little straighter for a little longer like that. Now carry on with the turn. Oh. it up. I have to pull ahead for sure. Yep. Oh, stalled it. Alright. So that's two pull-ups. Now a good driver would stick it right in here on this one. <laughs> uh, so what does that say I'm going to do? Oh, I kind of messed up already, I think. Yeah, see the rear trailer, you got to watch the arc. It's going to follow too. And its arc wouldn't have put this in that box. So I'll try that again. Just a little more on that back one. This is where you like the short cap. Have to go for a third pull up, but we'll run it back a little distance here. 
I think that's that's three or four. I think that was three. I lost count. Kind of busy biting my lip here. Oh, oh, <laughs> in the ditch. No. I gave it to us, so let's see if we can just make it look a little tidier. So there we go. We uh, we did it. So that's a place I'd never parked before. That's cool. So yeah, um, it's the way to do it. Like get this uh, shorter wheelbase. So much easier. That was it. The truck last night was probably only maybe a foot and a half, two feet more wheelbase than this one, and it just seems to make a difference. Um, but I also I have tried this before when I was doing it. Uh, learning how to do it last spring with the uh, um, FLB, Harvin's FLB, just to see what it was like with the really short wheelbase. And I found with that really short wheelbase, you're spinning the steering wheel way too much because you're, it will react really strongly to what um, your input is. It'll pivot around the kingpin or fifth wheel in a hurry and uh, things, happen a little too quickly in a way and I, this wheelbase here like this truck seems ideal for it and so this wheelbase on this is sort of halfway between the uh, stretched wheelbase on the k100 and the regular wheelbase so it's kind of a nice compromise oh boy excuse me it, uh, <laughs> I'm doing this earlier in the day than I would normally because I want it to be a little more alert <laughs> as I do a lot of the videos just late at night before I go to bed and uh, sometimes I'm pretty groggy when I do them and uh, last night I was feeling the strain but uh, yeah there we go another uh, park and be double so pretty soon I won't be just blathering on about it we'll just do it and just see how it goes and uh, quit making a big deal of it because uh, I want it to become something we can just do and uh, I'd encourage you to try it uh, the thing is it'll make you better at uh, backing your singles up too because um, you'll get a finer eye for reaction time to what's going on and uh, and you um, if you if you can do this uh, and react to the two trailers, like reacting to one trailer will become that much easier. And uh, you'll be able to put them into tough spots. Anyway, uh, thanks for following along. I really appreciate it. And take care, guys. Bye for now.